Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Badu Jack becomes a three-weight uh, belt holder, if you like. Champion, if you prefer. Um, he stops uh, Alunga Makabu in the 12th and final round. I'm kind of smug about this because I picked Jack to win late. I think I picked the 11th round. Uh, it was one more. It was 12th round. And a thoroughly deserved win for Jack. I couldn't understand why people were making Makabu the favourite in this fight because... You know, Jack's 39 and Makabu's 35. And makabu has been a uh, pretty much a career cruiserweight. And Jack has, he started his career, I think, at middleweight. And then he moved up to super middle, won his first world title. But in terms of miles on the clock, although both guys, you could call them veterans, I just felt that Makabu was older, fistically older than Jack. Jack looked a little bit more preserved. Um... And also, Makabu is quite a small cruiserweight, whereas Jack was always a huge super middle. So I didn't think the size difference would be that much. Um, Jack is six foot one, and Makabu's listed at six foot, but he looks about five ten to me. I've never thought he he looks as tall as he says he is. In inactivity also played a, a part for Makabu because since um, he won a split decision against. Uh, to be so Machunu, and that was in that was a year ago, just over a year ago, January uh, 2022. He hasn't done anything, and he didn't look good against M M Machunu. But having said that, Jack looked pretty average, pretty uninspired, pretty bad against Richard Rivera, uh, and that was in August of last year. But at least he had ten rounds. He won a split decision. He got the ten rounds. He also had a um, that was his second fight of 2022. He beat um, Haney Atio in one round, if you want to include that. They were in, that, that was in um, Abu Dhabi. Um, and so he, he's used to, you know, the Abu Dhabi, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. He's used to going to that climate. Um, Makabu, of course, from, from the Congo. That's a very hot climate as well. But I just felt that Makabu was look. he had a little bit of wear and tear on him. Uh, don't forget, he got chinned in, a, in three rounds by Tony Bellew in that shootout. Uh, and that was that was back in 2016. So we're talking a guy with a lot of miles on the clock. And even though he was four years younger in terms of age, I thought he had he was older in boxing terms. And so it proved because... But more to the point, actually, having said all that, if you look at the styles, I mean, Makabu has always been a rather sort of uncultured scrapper, a slugger. He fires very, he's southpaw, fires very wide punches, um, wins attritional wars, which of course had miles on the fisted clock, um, very physically strong, very imposing, but kind of, you know, he kind of likes to win those, those crash bang wallop shootouts. Whereas Jack, who has three draws on his record in fights that you could make a case for him winning, one was against Adonis Stevenson at, at light heavyweight. That was for a title. James DeGale, he drew with him. He was on the floor in the first round, but floored DeGale in the 12th, which shows a good engine. Um, he was also chinning around by Derek Edwards way back in 2014. So, you know, n nearly nine years ago. Um, and But since then, he hasn't shown much, much of a sort of, much of a weak chin or a bad engine or his stamina looks good. He looks physically strong. He lost a split decision to Jean Pascal at light heavy. He lost on the unanimous 12 round decision to Marcus Brown. But these are all rounds against, you know, good men, good fighters. And those three draws prove that he he doesn't necessarily go for the knockout because he's only got. I mean, now that he's now he, that he's beaten Macabo, he's 28 wins, three, three defeats and three draws, 17 by knockout. But he never looks like the type of guy who goes for. For the, for the knockout, which is probably why he can do the 12-round distance against good men really well. Makabu does go for the knockout. Every punch has got meat on it. They're nearly all wide punches. He's got that southpaw thing going on, but he's a sucker for the right hand, which is the traditional punch against the southpaw. And I just thought Badu Jack, with his higher IQ, he's going to use his experience better. And he did. Because in the first round, Makabu came out looking to do his thing, put pressure on, get up close to Jack. Jack was having a look at him. 
firing one or two punches, but I gave Maccabi the first round. In the second round, I thought Jack started to let his punches go a little bit, let his hands go. It was almost like he revved up the engine. Now I'm going to get my hands working. You could see, see he was thinking in there. He was trying to control the distance, staying quite close, not so that he was smothering his own work, um, but concentrate on not getting caught by those wide swings from Makabu. Had his hands nice and high, Jack, using the jab, firing the right hand. The right hand, of course, on the southpaw opponent is usually the punch you go for. And very interestingly, in terms of keeping Makabu off balance, um, Jack was moving side to side, both both directions an awful lot. I mean, it was, he stepped to the right, he'd swing to the left, using his feet very, very well. Not excessively, he wasn't running, but he was using his feet to offset Makabu and not allow Makabu to wind up these wild swings. And in terms of winning a jab fest, it was always going to be Jack's fight. Jack was also started punching to the body as the rounds progressed. And then in the fourth round, the fourth round, he caught, I can't remember, what was it now? Was it a right hand? I think, yes, it was a right hand. Uh, it was a, a very sharp, compact right hand that Makabu was throwing his own wide hook, left himself wide open. Jack threw that, that nice, sharp, tight right hand, landed bang on Makabu's, the side of Makabu's face, knocked him back so forcefully that he actually did a sort of backwards roly-poly, a backflip. Um, he got up, he was a little bit shaken, but he was okay. And Jack went back to his boxing, very cultured boxing, every punch, trying to make every punch count. Um, the rounds progressed. Makabu, again, trying to draw Jack into a scrap, but no, 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 he wasn't having any of it. Jack, and that's not to say Jack was running. He wasn't covering up. He wasn't being too conservative. He was, don't forget, the guy's got three draws on his record, so we don't want to leave it to the judges again. He was letting his hands go, controlling the range nice with the jab. Um, taking little slight steps backwards or to the side just to offset Makabu when he moved in, popping him, right hand, body work, good, slow, steady erosion of the opponent from Badu Jack. Very, very impressive stuff, this, from a 39-year-old who did not look 39. I mean, I, you know, is he a cruiserweight? Probably not. He's a little bit thick around the middle, um, but he he looked bigger than Makabu, Makabu himself, um, like I said, he was a, he's a small cruiserweight, but he, he could make like light heavyweight. But uh, but he's not in against you know one of these giants like an Akoli or a um, a React Point, you know, these huge modern day cruiserweights. He's in against a smaller man, and I think that must be what um, what Jack saw in Macabu, a smaller man, a guy who's quite crude, a guy who can outbox, a guy who can sort of erode and break down. That's exactly what happened in the eleventh round. Makabu was on the floor again. A bit, I can't remember this this eleventh round punch. I think it was another right hand. Um, put Makabu over. He got up. He had some swellings underneath his eye. I think possibly above one of the eyes as well. But Makabu was looking. He was looking exhausted and certainly gassing by the sort of eighth, ninth round. He was beginning to run out of steam. By the eleventh, he was virtually on empty. Made it out of the round. So that's two knockdowns for Jack. All Makabu, all, all Jack had to do was stand up for the 12th and uh, he'd probably win a decision. But again, when you've had those draws, when you've had, you know, split decisions go against you, you really want to finish strong. Makabu's corner told him, you're going to have to knock him out to win. No knockdowns, you're going to have to knock him out. He went out there, he tried for the first 30 seconds of the round. Makabu was slinging punches and no quitting the guy. He was a proud champ. But Jack caught him with a huge right hand, staggered Makabu back to the ropes. Jack uh, virtually ran after him, let his hands go, and the ref stepped in and stopped the fight. So Badu Jack becomes the new WBC cruiserweight champ. Um, it was one of those absorbing fights, not really that exciting. But if you like boxing and you like, if it's the type of fight you would show a kid who's learning how to box, because there was lots of really crafty, subtle stuff in there from Badu Jack. Uh, the sort of stuff that you get from an old veteran, from someone who's using their experience, who knows instinctively when to throw the right punches at the right time, who's done the 10 and 12 round distance so many times that 36 minutes of fighting isn't that much to them. You know, I was impressed with Badu Jack and can he take on the really big cruisers? I don't think so, but one thing's for sure, he'll give him a tough fight. He really will. Makabu, for me, even though he's four years younger than Jack, look, he looks like the end of the road for him, certainly at world level. Um, he made a couple of defenses of this uh, this reign as champ, but 
I, don't, I just think he's too small, he's too crude. And to be honest with you, I think Makabu has overachieved. I think with Jack, he's fulfilled his potential, certainly. But Makabu has overachieved. And uh, yeah, good luck to the guy. But the new champ is Balu Jack. Moves to 28 wins, three defeats, three draws. A very, very good fighter. Did you watch this fight? If so, what do you think? Leave your comments below. It was on the undercard of the Tommy Fury, Jake Paul thing. Um, interesting that the WBC, with which of course, of course, is the most prestigious belt out there and holds such sway that it finds certain fighters, certain fighters, you know, innocent of PED use. It holds that much gravitas, and yet their world cruiserweight title was on the undercard of an eight-round white collar fight. WBC, we be collecting. Collected on this one, and they'll get a few more paychecks off Badu Jack, no doubt. Leave your comments below. Thanks for your time. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you knew that helps us out a great deal. Speak in soon. Bye for now.